Hey everybody, Ace Trainer Liam here, and today I'm gonna make you cry. Again. In my last Saddest Goodbyes video, I talked about those heartbreaking moments when we had to say goodbye to some of the Pokemon we'd grown to love over the years. This time, I'll be focusing my attention on Ash's traveling companions. Ash has met and traveled alongside several different guys and girls during the 19 years the anime has been on the air. Some we loved, and some... Not so much. Oftentimes, we've had to say goodbye as different interests and adventures have led our heroes down separate paths. And today, I'll be looking at the top five saddest goodbyes of Ash's friends. Number five, Iris and Silen in Best Wishes Until We Meet Again. Now, although the characters didn't exactly show much emotion in the episode, fans of the aspiring Dragon Master and the Pokemon Connoisseur... <laughs> <laughs> Only joking, no one liked Silen. Ooh, I guess you could say that was a tasty roast. No? Okay, rewind. Now, although the characters didn't exactly show much emotion in the episode, fans of the aspiring Dragon Master and the Pokemon Connoisseur were definitely sad to see them leave. Iris and Ash had forged a more unique friendship compared to most of his previous female companions, giving the black and white saga of the anime a fresher feel than in previous years. So seeing that end so abruptly shook up the fans of the Gen 5 story arc, and yeah, maybe some people were sad to see Silen go, maybe. The thing that ranks this goodbye so low in the list is that it was as I mentioned before, very emotionless. Ash, Silent, Iris, and Alexa all arrived in Kanto, and out of nowhere, Iris and Silent decide they both have better things to do than stick with Ash, and before we knew it, they'd hopped on a train and left. The sad part being the empty feeling left in the pits of fans' stomachs. Number four, Brock in Memories Are Made of Bliss. Brock has been Ash's longest running traveling companion and has always been an incredible help to Ash, both with his knowledge of Pokemon, stats, typing, abilities, nutrition, and health, and his adventuring knowledge with regards to things like camping and cooking. He cemented himself as an indispensable asset to Ash's travels. We had said goodbye to Brock before at this point, but this particular instance was actually the final time we'd say goodbye to Brock, as he hasn't appeared in the main series since this episode, other than in flashbacks. Although their farewell in this episode is short and sweet, the scene where Ash and Brock shake hands and go their separate ways is still a very powerful one, as Pokemon fans who'd been watching since the first season, all the way up to fans who had only seen the Diamond and Pearl seasons, knew just how important Brock was to Ash, and knew that he's a friend that will always be there in the back of Ash's mind. Number three, May and Max in Home is Where the Start Is. May and Max accompanied Ash and later Brock as they traveled through the Hoenn region and the Kanto battle frontier. And after that, May decided that she wanted to head to Johto alone. This meant that Max would have to go back to Petalburg in Hoenn to be with his parents. May, of course, is super excited to be able to enter more contests and develop as a coordinator, but Max, as you'd expect, is rather upset by the notion of being separated from not only his sister, but his friends as well. It really hit home when he began to explain to Ash that he wished he could grow up faster so that he didn't have to go home and could stay traveling with the others. I think we've all wished for time to go faster for us at one time or another, and this really rang true in this scene. Oh, we also said another goodbye to Brock in this episode, but I'm not counting it because Ash literally happily ran away from him to go home and eat. Don't believe me? Go and watch it for yourself. Anyway, Ash ultimately tries to cheer Max up with the promise of a Pokemon battle once Max is old enough to be a trainer. But the saddest part is, even to this day, the battle hasn't happened. Max must be devastated. Number two, Dawn in Memories Are Made of Bliss. Right before we said goodbye to Brock for the final time, it was time to say goodbye to Dawn, who had contemplated going back to Kanto with Ash and Brock, but ultimately had to stay in Sinnoh, since her Boniri had been offered work as a Pokemon fashion model. Yes, I'm serious. That was an actual reason they used to write a much-loved main character out of the anime. Even though their goodbye wasn't the most tear-jerking of farewells, you couldn't help but feel a lump in the back of your throat when Dawn and Ash thank each other for everything and for a moment just stand there, neither one wanting to leave, before Dawn offers up a token high five and the guys head off onto the boat for Kanto, while Dawn fights back the tears. Number one, Misty and Brock in Gotta Catch You Later. This one means a lot to me since I've been watching Pokemon since it first aired in the UK, so I grew up watching the trio of Ash, Brock and Misty as they overcame everything their adventure threw at them, apart from the Indigo League, Hey Ash. So to see them standing at that fork in the road, with each one about to head off in a different direction, it really hit me hard. It doesn't help that right before this scene, we're shown a montage of their journey, with a sad song playing over the top that really emphasizes the implied feelings between Misty and Ash, in the English version. In the original Japanese version, we just get tears after cloudy weather playing, although that does always make me cry. And in fact, it's playing right now. When the trio finally did go their separate ways, it really did leave me feeling pretty empty inside. It was like I was literally watching my childhood end. It's lucky there was another half of the episode left to go, or I'd have been a wreck for weeks after that. Thanks everybody for watching, I hope you enjoyed this video. Let me know in the comments what you think the saddest goodbye in Pokemon is, and be sure to share this video with all of your friends. If you enjoyed what you saw, be sure to subscribe so you never miss a video from me. And until next time, 
I'm Ace Trainer Liam. Keep on training.